So hello and welcome to another class of ABME by Sciences. This is Abhishek with you. So today I'll be talking about DNA, gene and chromosomes. So this is a very common term, but it is not obviously clear to everyone. So that's why I'm making up this class. So what is DNA? So DNA is composed of adenine, thymine, guanine, cytosine. So these are the four periods and pyrimidines bases which form the backbone of our life except some of the viruses which contains RNA as their genome. So this DNA, suppose I'm drawing here just a depiction of suppose this is a double standard DNA that is DS DNA which is present in every cell of our body now contains A, T, G, C, T, A, A, T. Likewise, the total backbone is formed with this for uh, either purine or pyrimidine. So A is always bonded to T, G is bonded to C, that you all know. So suppose this DNA is consist of 100 BP of base pairs. Okay, so this the length of this DNA is 100 BP. Now I'm going to G. So gene, what is gene? Suppose gene, a segment of DNA. So gene is a segment of DNA. So that's why I made this uh, size here. So 100 BP is a size and suppose this size signifies a gene. Now what is gene? Gene is a segment of DNA which performs a particular function. Okay. So, so this particular gene, suppose I'm giving a name here, just suppose that it is responsible for the color of our hair. Okay. So my hair is black, somebody's is different colors of hairs are there. So suppose this uh, gene, this segment of DNA is responsible for hair color. Now the gene will produce RNA and from there protein. So gene is consist of DNA, that DNA will be transcribed to RNA and then RNA to protein to form the color of the hair. So I think I'm clear here that DNA is a deoxyribonucleic acid consists of purine and pyrimidine bases A, T and G, C. Now a particular segment of DNA is called a gene which transforms or which can transcribe to RNA to protein. That means it can decipher the codes within them. The codes are like A, T, G, C which will be transferred into messenger RNA or tRNAs and then it will form to proteins. So that's why it is the gene. Now human body contains at least 20 to 25,000 genes. Now these genes produce several proteins, several proteins in several cells which perform different functions to maintain the integrity of our body. Now coming to chromosomes. So chromosome, if this segment is the gene, so now chromosome contains, I told you that several genes, that is 20,000, 25,000 genes. Now that gene, that gene, so before going to that, I will give you a simple example that our cell, so this is one cell which contains two meter of DNA. So two meter of DNA, is just harbored by each of the cell of our body. Now our body contains 10 to the power 14 cells. So if you consider um, the cells and the length of the DNA, that will be around 2 into 10 to the power 11 kilometer, which is the distance between the earth to moon. So or more than that. So this kind of lengthy DNA or gene that is 20 to 25,000 genes are 
compacted within a single cell that's a very difficult job and that job is done by histone proteins so actually chromosome is the dna which contains several genes in a form of compaction or uh, with the help of histone proteins so chromosome is equal to histone proteins plus dna okay so this is a supramolecular formation of the dna with the help of proteins to compact the shape of the dna during cell division so the term chromosome is coming during cell division because during cell division each of the cell you will be visible under the microscope if you stain them you can see clearly that it is condensed form and this condensed form is formed only during cell division okay other times the dna or the genetic material resides as chromatin so this is another term of the structure that is the form of the dna which is a thread like structure that normally resides within the cell but during division it forms a complex dense structure called chromosomes which is made up of histones and dnas that is visible under the microscope so now this chromosome suppose i am drawing a very haphazard structure here okay or i should draw here suppose this is the compact structure of dna which is called chromosome now this chromosome suppose here to here gene a is present from here to here gene b then gene c gene then gene d from likewise it is several genes are arranged in this structure and that is maintained by different kinds of proteins and the interactions that hydrophobic interactions or static interactions so this is the concept of dna gene and chromosomes so i'm telling you again in a simple line that dna is the deoxyribonucleic acid which consists of atgc now this dna uh, will be uh, named as a gene when a gene is the segment of dna where the gene is a segment of dna which performs a particular function by producing proteins for a particular work inside the cell so that here i am giving a example of hair color uh, gene which is responsible for the giving the color to the hair and then again that dna suppose the one gene that chromosome now consists of dna histone molecules contains all these genes arranged in a form of line up process which can be seen not the genes you can see that is the chromosomal structure you can see that is during the cell division so it is a supramolecular complex which resides the 2 meter of dna which is a very lengthy you can understand from the 2 meter size in a dot like form inside the nucleus so this is the compaction level inside a single cell with the level of dna so these are the forms of dna that the basic level is dna then the gene level that is the above level and then that uh, quaternary structure or the supramolecular structure that is the chromosome so i hope i am clear so if you have any query please ask me thank you